<coughs> what is Breckles? It's Yeg Gallus and me, Bang. So, you know, this COVID shit is amazing, man. I mean, the amount of people faking their fucking credentials is unbelievable. So, um, I mean, you're, you're really dastardly at this point. You, uh, What is it? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk a little bit today. Today is September 9th, 2020. It's getting cold outside, so I'm going to have to figure out something to do. I've been basically out on the streets, um, you know, sleeping, you know, under the trees, basically, for about five months. It's, it's pretty rough, but I, I managed to do really well. You just got to clean yourself, take care of your body, get the right nutrients. You got to fucking panhandle every day for a couple of dollars. And make sure you get enough money to buy the basics, you know, a little bit of health, some fruits, some grains, some rice, whatever you can get. Um, you know, mostly whatever vegetables you can, because you can't subsist off of junk food when you're homeless. You actually have to strategically eat healthy. Uh, go out of your way if you have to. If you got to take a bus or a train just to go somewhere to get a deal where you can get, you know, discount on fruits or vegetables, do it, you know? Um, there's no such thing as paying the fare in New York, right? You guys, you know, basically bankrupt the Marvel's Avengers. You fucking stole that movie, and now you talk a shit, all right? So, so let's see. Um, like I said, it's September 9, 2020. It is uh, 6.59 p.m. And, um, yeah, I'm going to talk about a couple things today. I did, a, I did a couple videos already. I did about eight, eight, eight full ones. I posted the link to that on my Facebook. I'm going to post a couple more links. That way you guys figure out, like, everything that's going on. Because I, I can't, I can't sell fake or chicanery. I got to, I got to resolve and purge all my demons. Um, so what I'm saying is that, uh, you know, the last couple videos have been nasty. They're not nice to hear. I, I, I call out a lot of vile and evil shit. Uh, I stipulate shit that's like impossibly difficult to deal with, but that's very sincere and real, right? Um, you know, it's just disgusting, disgusting high-level chicanery. I'm going to talk about the dark sides of MKUltra in the sense that they try to use trauma on you that you can't resolve consciously, you see? So, give me a second, I mean the subway gets loud. They try to use con a trauma on you that you cannot resolve consciously, do you understand? So, they rape you without remembering. Uh, they sexually assault you without remembering. They give you implants, they give you biotech, they give you diseases, they give you viruses, they give you, uh, you know, they give you bad meds. They basically structurally plan to kill you, right? Uh, if you let this shit happen, it will. Unfortunately, it doesn't really work. I don't fall for fake shit, um, you know, but I had to see how, you know, you guys have to lie to get to your best life, right? That's the thing about, you know, anyone in an advanced industry, make sure you have a basic understanding of science because you're going to notice how when people's story don't add up, they can't make correct correlations to the questions you're asking and the problems that they're claiming they're trying to solve, right? So always ask for the corollary or the resolute uh, questions. Make sure that your questions are actually trying to solve it and, and make sure you can investigate things well, right? Even just for your own behalf. When you document people, make sure they got a real fucking story. You're going to notice, I was talking about incels before, you can't have your own family members claiming that they don't have, you know, real written proof of their name and their nomenclature, right? When they don't have a license, when they don't have, you know, a, a properly stipulated title, when they're just getting mail sent to their address about a fake fucking person or ID they made about a really, um, what's the word I'm putting for? An intellectual property, which is a corporation about themselves, it's not a real person, they'll, they'll, they'll not really, they're honoring their true self. They're living in a persona, you see? And they use that mischievous self to go around selling fake shit and chicanery. You'll notice that a lot of the people around you, they don't have real names. Their names are contaminated with the lies that they stole and sold before they even got to the point where they had to keep lying their whole life. So I'm trying to figure out what I want to talk about today. I'm about three minutes in. Like I said, it's you know mid through September, about the first third of September. And we're going to cancel a lot of fake shit, Black. I'm telling you right now, I can't accept chicanery and fake shit. Um, it seems like you guys pay so much for sabotage and abuse that you really destroyed yourselves and your own families. All you had to do was just really come correct and tell the truth a couple times. But... The problem is bad overdoses. Listen to that, right? Because I had I had kids in my community telling me, oh, you know, we got DMT, we got cocaine, we got ayahuasca, we got heroin, we got I'm like, what the fuck is wrong with y'all? That shit is gonna kill you in a couple years. And you're still trying to hype it up as if you don't know what the fuck you're doing. Meanwhile, these kids are overweight, they have psychosis problems, they're constantly gangbanging all the fucking time. They don't know what they're doing. I'm telling you, it's hard to be heavy D and just hold down for just a mature name and just a real job doing experimental art with biotech. I mean that's it. I'm just telling you. My experiment in our career had to go further. I had to do things like research. I had to stipulate better systems because they're saying they'll shoot anyone out of a job that has a conscience. You see? If they don't like the things you say represent, they'll fuck you up real bad. Right? So I'm going to talk about permanent psychosis. I kind of like this subject because what it's about is about people that find themselves having to lie into just an awfully destitute, insecure hole that they can never buy themselves out of. And I'm, what I mean by us is you can't really earn respect back when you've been basically peddling chicanery and fraud your whole fucking life. The reason why sometimes people have that problem is they have a permanent overdose. I talked about that in my couple of videos. Or they have a felony already. They've already committed a large structural crime. They, they can't even answer for it and still keep their any modicum of freedom they have. So even, even probation for that matter. 
without going back to jail or dealing with more problems. You, you see? So you got to be smart about who you are and what you're doing. And you got you to gotta purge your guilt and disease. I talked about that on my social media. And you got to make things right. Right? We're going to make everything right. You see? Right? So don't wallow in this little guilt-ridden circle of all your complexity and your lies. Uh, make sure you start to put things in perspective as to why you fucked up so bad and why it is that you can't get yourself out of this guilt-ridden trap. So that's why I call it psychosis. <coughs> um, I don't even think bipolar is a real term, you know, because, you know, I dealt with inflammation of the brain. I actually had a nerve disease. I actually sprayed, I talked about getting sprayed in the ear and becoming very sick. I'm going to talk to some of the symptoms about mental health because you need, you guys need to keep track of those. You need to make sure you can protect yourself and your peers from this disease. It's very difficult to detect. Uh, it, it comes and goes sort of awkwardly. Some people have just a couple of weird traits and they're what we call borderline. They don't really ever resolve their mental health or their wherewithal completely. They might be a little weird, a little wonky, but they just try with what the best they can to live and enjoy life, right? Um, so that's borderline personality disorder, borderline psychosis. It's not going to ruin you, but it does end up causing problems. You'll notice things like you know following through on commitments, um, actually meeting dates, remembering things, actually completing the projects you start, even telling the truth about the most basic things. You just can't ever do it. Your life's just an awkward, disorganized mess. I have many relatives like this. They got so nasty that you can never rely on them for the most basic shit. But they were running a pussy with a lot of fake uh, court cases, medical insurance scams. Uh, you know, civil case. That's why I couldn't even use the legal system. I can't even call the police because you guys come around and you're trying to abuse us over over a lot of fucking bullshit ass deals that y'all faked, right? I got shot in the hospital by some kid from I don't know where the fuck he's from. So that's what I'm saying. If y'all are European, you come to America, you speak English, declare where the fuck y'all from, right? All right. We need to know who you are and what your agenda is. Don't try to blend in and act like y'all like us because you don't fuck with us. All right. Y'all sabotage your whole economy to try to kill us with your indolence and your racism to the last day. All right. Get a real fucking story. Recognize. So anyway, I got shot at a fucking hospital. I actually went to these people to get help for a disease I guess they started, you know. Part of it was my fault. I wasn't really eating right in my youth. We never had really had access to more complex nutrients, especially complex herbalism. Up until about four years ago, in terms of things like CBD and some of those herbs, you had to fucking shoot and steal your way out of America. They actually tried to shut me down at the airport. I'm amazed. So I'm going to stay in New York and figure out what the fuck y'all up to, you know, because I really just needed to get, get to better tidings and see my people. I actually had some of my own family claiming that it was their job to kind of like monetize me and keep me sick so that they can keep me under control. And and it's like, well, I don't, I don't know what the fuck y'all doing, but I just knew that that's what I'm talking about, permanent psychosis. They got so bad that they had to lie all the time, you see? So about a lot of shit. So anyway, the point I'm going to say is I'm going to talk a little bit about biotech today, how it works, how you can use it. Then I'm going to talk a little bit more about government technology, how they abuse advanced technology around all of you all the time, right? You know, they're really fucking with y'all bad. Uh, how most of the entertainment and media systems you have now are fake. The, the people get paid to be basically jumped in or what I like to call um, read in right they're read in on a lot of complex dossiers dealing with things like metaphysics and advanced technology and the economy and AI and even things like aliens right or any type of advanced energy systems or advanced consciousness right they want people to know that we'll pay you to be on TV we'll pay you to do all this work but don't fuck with our agenda right you want to get your checks you want to get paid you do what the fuck we tell you so that's why the larger instrument of these heavy industri industrialists that are engineers that have large amounts of money they end up working in these complex hyper hyper technological societies uh where they engineer everything that's in the the lower class or the middle class to just be a scam you see how is it that you know my own mother really a nasty vagrant psycho psychopathic gangster mob wife at this point. I really can never I, I, I identify with her as a healthy person. I'm sorry. I gave her many chances. I was trying to see why she was so sick. I, I didn't understand why it was so difficult to talk to her. I would present her with her the fact. She she becomes so vile that if I actually offered real solutions, not just for my salvation and my well-being, but even for hers, she would lash out at me and try to attack me for it. And I thought that that was a sign that she was on her last days. But she was very determined to use drugs, guns, and knives. That's why I'm saying you guys are selling biofreeze now. That's a fucking scam, kids. That you guys are trying to stipulate the certain products you're selling as being the counter to 007 technology. In other words, we're kind of giving you an indicator of what's going on. Biofreeze is kind of a metaphor about paralysis nerve spray. The spray is now so toxic, they'll spray it on you when you sleep. It'll cause you to have a paralysis. You won't even be able to get up and wake. So that's why I'm telling you, uh, a lot of the people in your career, they, these dogs got to get canceled. Uh, I can't have my mother's aunts or her sisters ever coming around claiming they did real work. I'm going to tell you why, all right? Like I said in the last video, my mother shot me in the year 95, 94, 95, excuse me, for a project I did with Nintendo at the time, which is a company my father invested in as a technologist, him and many of his brothers. We were all selling uh, electronic arts, video games all over the world, even movies and, and other technology. 
Uh, she shot me uh, when I was 11 years old. She tried to kill me. She, she gave me sort of a goal, like, if you learn your multiplication tables, I'll buy you something nice. And so my peer said to me, make sure it's one of these video games, because my mother got herself stuck in a loop, where she's trying to force me to stay in school, which you know, every kid needs an education, right? I mean, I love learning. I learn every day whether you guys are paying me to or not, whether the education system is running or not, because it's, it's bankrupt at this point, trust me. But you know, you got to learn your whole life. So I was proud to learn my multiplication tables. But for my work, I, she asked me, is there something you want, something I can get for you, right? So I, I honored my mother in my youth. She seemed to be okay sometimes, but other times she was vagrantly and energetically sick. And I couldn't really figure out why because she never really explains things in a healthy way. She doesn't have causal indicators about what she wants and what she's trying to accomplish. She's just, you know, you know, very chatty, very combative, but doesn't really have real solutions. And I didn't understand this as a kid. I didn't have any options as to who was going to raise me or who was going to look after me. I ended up stuck in these weird cults about several, several multi-layered social worker and, you know, adoption frauds because really all y'all were fucking sick. Uh, everywhere across New York City. I mean, most of you were dealing with multi-layers of psychosis and, and schizophrenic abuse. You didn't know what the fuck y'all were doing. And that's the sad thing about it is I wish as a collective you came together. You came together and reconciled what your goals were. What do you want to accomplish uh, energetically with your health, with your nutrition? I mean, like I said, I'm, I'm in New York now. More than two-thirds of you are overweight. Your, your, your metabolism is not healthy, friends. Uh, you know, there's a, a lot of borderline personality sweat. I know you guys are using a lot of tobacco. I see you guys sitting outside of bars chugging alcohol till you're sloppy and drunk. And you're really not healthy. And I know that you're, you're hurting inside. Your body is hurting. That's what I'm saying, right? And then your emotions start to hurt, too, because everywhere you go, you're in aggravation. I've seen some of the homeless in New York. They always got tobacco and cigarettes, but you, you can tell they, 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 grin, they grimace angrily as they walk. They're in pain. You know, you could tell that they're not really doing too well energetically, right? So I'm just telling you guys, uh, what I contrasted there was both rich and poor alike end up having the same problems where energetically you guys are stuck in loopholes where you're not really doing so well, you know? Uh, the yoga community in New York is a scam. I was doing Dawson for Capcom in 1992. Dawson was the one that was, kept saying the word yoga, yoga, over and over, right? So now you made a cult about DJs you don't fuck with, and I walk into these yoga studios, oh, Malik, you got to pay. $80 for you, $100 for you. Y'all derelicts are fucking bereft. Y'all fucking stole that whole culture from India. And then y'all showing up talking shit about how the real people stipulating the international art trade, you don't honor us, right? So that's what y'all fucked up right from the back. You should be asking me, how is your finances doing? Are you okay financially? How's your health? How's your family? How are your friends? Instead, y'all basically made fake stipulatory cults about fake stipulatory shit that you don't fucking honor. And you go around looking stupid and squalid your whole fucking life. That's what happened in your economy in this COVID shit, right? It got crashed. Most of you are under investigation now. Many of you are in felony arrears. If you got a real name and a real address and you and you stuck around through this shit and you kept lying, you're going to be stuck energetically, right? We're not fucking with y'all, right? So that's what I'm saying, kids. Don't get stuck in the trap of mnemonics and psychosis. I'm going to talk about that. I mean, what was the other one I was going to say? Permanent psychosis and mnemonics. The other one was how biotech can help you. That should be a short section. I don't want to talk about that too much. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. I mean, I'm going to keep this video short today. But anyway, so let's talk about permanent psychosis. So. Like I said, when people have permanent disabilities, like I said, it's both hood and corporate alike. You don't don't expect, you know, the, the swag of the, the street smarts is going to save you. Those kids walking around the street, all they do is gangbang all the fucking time. They got guns, they got drugs, they got money, and they don't know what the fuck they're doing with nothing. They're just not emotionally solvent. You're not even enjoying your lives. You'll, you'll, you'll die and ruin yourselves before ever finding a love that you can cherish. You see? You never get to your best love. You never get to your best life, excuse me, without your truest love i said that before i keep saying that over and over if you have to say the word love a thousand times right just to untrain these nasty etiquette and habits you guys have of thinking you got to try to act tough to get what you want nobody falls for that shit men and women alike in new york are insecure you guys don't even feel safe around each other you don't feel safe alone you don't see feel safe in groups you you, you think people are plotting to destroy you some of that's paranoia some of it is real some of y'all just vagrant and energetically sick you'll attack each other for something like you guys fucking each other's exes or each other's girlfriend or whatever no that's it's all stipulatory shit Right, you guys don't honor the real lessons of life. I'm going to say it one more time because I post it all the time on my social media. Resonance and reciprocity. You see? Resonance is your true self, your vibration humming uh, without disease, without illusions, without lies in your mind. Right? And reciprocity is the fairness you exchange with others. Some people can't meet you at your level of energy. Right? They have to lie or they're sick. Or, or maybe they're, they're, they're shameful or they're abusing others or they, they know they're living wrong or that they're not righteous, right? So they can never tell a real story. Well, with those people, you can't really share your truest love. You have to kind of let them waylay and move to the side because they don't really know energetically where they are. They have a body, they got legs, a brain, arms, whatever, but they really can't honor their true self. They have to go everywhere promoting mischief, right? So that's, that's an unhealthy parable about life. If you can't just speak plainly wherever you are about things that are real, if you have to lie to circumnavigate your trauma and your shame, and you will never get to your truest love. That's why communication and language is so important, friends. You need to find a way to verbally speak your pain 
um, into the proper context so that you, that you and the people around you can heal. They can either help you or you can heal yourself. And in this modern age, you, many of you will have to do the self-healing because it's, it's unfortunately terribly destructive how much illusory shit is running our economy. It's to the point where we can't really function if you guys have to lie all the time. I'm still seeing people come to New York admitting you're not fucking from here. How'd you get money coming to the city? Don't even bother that shit. Send that money straight to me because I gotta get I gotta get the fuck out of this city. Right? I gotta resolve with my family what's going on and then leave. I'm, I'm sorry, man. I don't want my kid, children or uh, women that have my children to suffer, but I don't even know their real names. I don't know what happened to you guys. You guys really turned into persistent rape clubs. I'm gonna tell you why I got into in vitro in high school. Um, a woman from Iraq was kind of a little bit weird. She she stalked me on MySpace. She found me. We ended up really becoming intimate. She, I think she made a porno, really. She kind of got really nasty about it. Went back to Iraq, took some of my sperm and my stem cells, had kids. Um, never saw me again. Created, created a cult, really. <laughs> uh, women started waging war over this, over like an adult film I never saw, uh, over, over kids I don't even know. And then y'all went up, made lots of fucking money, going hustling and squalid, and you didn't honor my family. You didn't honor my ability to see my children or to raise them or to give them my love and my knowledge. And that's the part where you guys fell out. I'm sorry that you had to see me be so angry in the last couple of videos because I don't really live like that. I'm actually whimsically joyful, uh, and I really have really good values and epithets about love. But when you guys become so fucking abusive that you make entire fake communities, fake businesses, fake corporations, fake standards in education, fake news in the media about shit that you don't fucking honor and you lie all the time, you will break your continuity and your intelligence. You will never have work that you value. You'll never have connections with your peers that matter. That's what I'm saying. The people around me, y'all had no fucking skills. I don't see y'all do anything that matters. You know, a couple of you are decent at things, but most of you in New York don't really do shit. I, I really don't see you guys consistently and demonstrating the skills you have. There's some good artists, a couple of good singers, definitely. But corporate work, math is not a real thing. You guys don't even count money, right? It's not one plus one equals two, right? It's all y'all Gestapo saying two for me, one for you. Three for me, one for you. And keeping that charade going until it makes you sick because money is not going to solve your problems energetically, right? The reason why you guys are so greedy and you're hoarding dolls all the time is because you are sick and you think abusing money and other people and even drugs or things you can't really control are going to make you feel better. They do not. They do not. It was always the power herb. Listen carefully. Power herb all the time, right? So I'm going to talk about the permanent psychosis again. Um, you know... I, I've been in New York a long time. I learned at a young age. My sister brought me to Haiti one year. She said, look, um, Malik, don't listen to any of the fucking bullshit they tell you, all right? Um, it's always a power herb. She asked me, discuss every medicine you know, every pill. What, how many can you name? I couldn't name any at the time. I wasn't really seeing doctors for any medical problems. I, I said, a couple, I guess Tylenol, Advil. I really couldn't think of much. But she said she was testing my medical acumen. She actually was really skilled in medicine. She said, you know, all that's fake shit. Um, how many foods you eat? What do you eat every day? I, I kind of listed junk food, shit that's not really that healthy. She said, oh, that's fake shit as well. It's also GMO and it's processed, right? What about street drugs? You know, which ones do you know? You know, cannabis, whatever, whatever. Heroin, meth, all that shit. I, I named whatever I could say. I didn't really think of much either. All that's fake processed shit as well. She basically showed me you're in a cyclical loop where the illegal drugs, the medicine, and the food you buy is all fake. It's not really going to solve health problems, right? We're structurally missing large amounts of nutrients from the herbal community. There's many vegetables that we just can't sell in America. We can't even acquire them because they're trying to create a nutrition embargo. They tried this in Haiti. They had practically star of Haiti over things like, you know, my biotech development platform. That's what I'm saying. Y'all faking chicanery. You see me making cartoons and you basically send an order to my little production company to make an illegal army helicopter or fucking missiles or all this other shit. And then you come around trying to fucking kill me when you say Malik is not obedient to us. Fuck out of here. Y'all losers are done for. We never needed weapons. You just don't honor each other's tribes and you don't communicate correctly. That's all it is. You can't even handle your own backyards, let alone ruling another foreign nation. So don't fucking try it. Your money's bankrupt. It ain't counting shit. That's what the permanent psychosis is about, friends. You guys get yourself caught in this loophole of too much cleverness. Read Herman Hesse's book, Siddhartha. Herman Hesse, Siddhartha. Read that book, okay? Beautiful book. It's really about the fact that y'all didn't do any real work. You got stuck in these loopholes of psychological abuse, and you kept lying to yourselves over and over again. The Buddha in that, the Buddha in that book, Siddhartha Gautama, that's actually not his name in that book. Um, main character, Siddhartha. The Buddha, there are many Buddhas, by the way. They're just enlightened figures. Uh, but that particular Buddha says, the main lesson, friends, is beware of too much cleverness. 
You see? Important. Consider that, right? You guys will lie yourselves into these guilty little patterns of sociopathic abuse and you never have causal reasons to get to your truest love. You know you have to lie several times over to even have to see someone that you care about and to control them, you have to lie to them as well. You see? So you took all that guilt and hurt inside and you projected it out the wrong way. That's the point I'm making. I've seen my family now uh, pretty much march themselves into prison from lies they've told for over a decade. It's pretty disgusting, actually. I mean, I would have rather seen my life be better and us share a story or a narrative about the, the consent that we share, the ideas and the things we tell each other uh, that are actually true and not systemically fraud and farcical and manufactured. And that's pathetic about it. Uh, many of your careers were just indefinitely um, desolute and swirling in cycles of lies and abuse. And it got to the point where all I had to do was basically catch you on camera uh, airing your asses out and looking fucking stupid and facetious. I know you guys go everywhere uh, telling lies about who you are and what you do. It's to the point where when you're around me, you train yourself to have two narratives. That's what I mean by that personal um that permanent psychosis, you have two separate stories. We also call that mnemonics, right? Mnemonics is in the middle. You say a very vague word and you use it to mean two different things, right? My mother was talking about, oh, I'm in a complex now. Well, it's really a condominium. That's kind of what she claims she was uh, bought an apartment. What she means by complex, she means other things. Oh, I have other problems. I have other relationship problems. I have this, I have that. And she's trying to use fake chicanery and fake legal verbiage to get herself out of bigger problems, right? Once again, I don't go to those court systems. She practically paid to sue me, which is ridiculous. You could have just given me that fucking money and let me move on or go spend some time in a community where there's actually real consent and honor. You see, New York City is not that. It's a vagrant fucking shithole. You guys didn't pay for one DMC's beats. You didn't pay for De La Soul's beats. You didn't pay for public enemies beats. You didn't pay for a lot of the shit y'all stole, right? I was fucking going overtime on Spectrosonic with my biotech. Even as a kid, my brother said, don't wait for these people to pay you. No one gives a fuck about money, right? They're not gonna count in front of you, they're not gonna count it when you leave hip hop. The only thing that matters is the cultural currency of seeing the world get better, seeing life energetically have more substance, you see? And I hate to say it, but a lot of the y'all rappers out here, y'all just peddle fucking such selfish, indolent bullshit into the lyrics, y'all, right? I really can't have y'all peddling all this vagrancy and, and indolence into the instrumentals I make. You better have a healthy narrative about consent and love. And if you know, if don't, then make your own fucking beats. But notice how when you're hurting inside, listen carefully, when you're hurting inside, you're angry, you have a lot of shame, you promote uh, indolence and disease amongst your tribe. You sabotage others. You talk about constant vagrancy and, um, you know, warfare. And you, mind you, at the social level of your own communities right here in the city, you, what you're saying is as, as a collective, you're out of control. And I know because you admit this to me that you don't really like the fact that sometimes your behavior is insolvent, right? That's what you're saying. So I, I, I'm in the same position. I, I never really needed to be that abusive. But I also saw that a lot of y'all stories wasn't working. It's hard to go broke in New York, to struggle to not have enough money to eat, to see everyone lying to you every fucking day. You know what? That should never happen to a biotech developer, right? You have the means to, to work. That's the reason why they make all these large corporate offices. You guys need to walk into a building, to sit at a desk, at a cubicle, or whatever it is your desk is. It could be a nice one if you want, a corner office if you like, and have Microsoft products we fucking make, right, that you bankrupted. Microsoft Office, Microsoft Pro, and a couple others, Windows 10 Pro, excuse me, uh, and a couple others um, are bankrupt. You guys stole those platforms. And y'all sitting around talking shit every fucking day. You really think I'm a waiter? Y'all disgustingly stupid. It's pathetic, right? So I'm just saying, you know, my mother worked in the Rockefeller Center. She worked at a couple of companies that were fucking fake. So Rudy Trust and Franklin Templeton. Those companies are not counting my money. And then you walk around the corner in the same complex, the same Rockefeller Center Plaza, excuse me, and there's a Nintendo store with a gold statue of Mario, right? I was at Nintendo since age six. How's my mother going to Rockefeller Center? She don't know shit. She did this over for two decades. Never had a real fucking story. Never paid me once. So she's a professional saboteur. Selling lies to the point where it's going to make her sick and cancel her career. So I'm sorry all this happened, kids. You should have never trusted these losers. Uh, the tech community feels very insecure without leaders. You know what they feel very insecure without? They feel insecure without sacrifices. They want someone to deal with all the trauma and abuse and not have to fucking deal with that shit. So y'all can sell, say squalid and stupid if you want, but to a man and to a brum, I gotta tell the truth and advance the cause of my tribe. Y'all not even able to look at me in the face and talk about the abuses you committed, right? So you're gonna find that the work that you do continuously dissolves until we don't really need to see y'all again. So grow the fuck up, right? What this is about is you guys use money to pay for alien technology and advanced AI and systems that you use to keep the rest of the planet sick. Right? And stupid. I'm going to talk about biotech extortion later. They use things like psionics and even radioactive devices to make you sick wherever you're at, whether you're in court or whether you're sleeping, so that you can't really concentrate and resolve your arguments and speak your truth peacefully. In reality, none of that shit matters. You can use your biotech to publish a document so they can go fucking read that shit if they wanted to. You see? They just want to keep you sick and looking vulnerable. That's what it is. They actually brought me to court in 2014 for a fake student loan they gave me at a university they tried to kill me at. And in the year... 
2001, 2002, they had me sign those loan documents. These dollar to the last. I was working at Nintendo since age six. I got shot in the year 1992 for work I did in Street Fighter 2, Hyper Fighting. Right? Why didn't they fucking know about that game? Of course they knew. They're just fucking stupid. They're faking they chicane to last day. So Sally Mae gets canceled. Those dollars are done. If education is not free, we don't want foreign investors paying for our diplomas and telling you that you sign up for loans for us. If you don't obey, we won't give you work. That's what the fuck it is. You see? I'm a dope ass fucking graphic artist. You can't touch my shit. How, how the fuck am I not making money in New York? That's because y'all sold out. You got co-opted. You're pseudo thugs. If you're not from New York, don't come here. Stay the fuck where y'all at. All right? We got to resolve this shit first. That's what I'm saying. Hip-hop's a bankrupt, bankrupt uh, pseudo-thug movement. MTV and Hot 97, y'all saw all that shit. Y'all got canceled. We're not fucking with y'all, right? Grow the fuck up. You got to make sure things get paid for. I'm not having y'all fucking squalid-ass industry divas. That's even the men amongst you, because y'all are bisexual, bipolar thugs that don't know what the fuck you're doing. Pseudo-thugs at that. You know, go running around shooting your way into fucking music video shoots and whatever the fuck else y'all doing. You ain't got a real story, all right? So grow the fuck up. You got a lot of stolen money from beats y'all stole. And from swag you did not earn, all right? Recognize. So, you know, I'm going to tell you what the fuck it is, right? So, like I said, a permanent psychosis was when somebody has been abusing drugs for so long, they can't even remember at what point in their life things went sour for them or, 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 squ or squalid. They just don't know how to tell you that, you know, they're struggling so much to side, they have to lie all the time. All the time. I had a social worker in my community. He had the audacity to tell me, oh, I'm your psychiatrist. And you're basically telling me that I'm getting free, stipulated, uh, uh, I'm sorry, subsidized psychiatry work from uh, the government or the New York State Medicaid Bureau and it's health first and you're telling me that all I can afford is this fucking dulled ass psychotherapist that actually has to look at me in the fucking face and lie right I told I looked at this guy every single time I was home and so I worked at Arc System Works since 1989 you're not telling me I'm broke and stupid so you can make money and then basically when this guy tried to open up a netcode browser and use the internet to do any type of research about my name or even his own job he couldn't do it. Well, of course you can't fucking do it, man. You're not working at Google holding down the DNS structure, right? You need people that really tell the truth to do those jobs, whether they're struggling or not. That's the whole thing with this economy. Money is just a cheap trick. You guys don't need so much, right? You need the power herb. I'm telling you, I've been on the streets for five months. I'm doing better than most of y'all, right? You're overweight and sick. You're constantly going to CVS. You use a pharmacy. You don't realize CVS is a stolen business. Wake the fuck up. You see? So like I said, a permanent psychosis is just a bad overdose, whether from pharmaceuticals or from uh, street drugs, cocaine, a lot of the fucked up shit that ends up in the, in the wrong circles in your communities. You abuse it so much that it damages your brain and now you don't really know how to compensate for the fact that too much of your civility as a human being is missing. You can't formulate healthy attitudes about what you are or the work you do. So you end up structurally lying all the time, you see? All the time. Give me a second. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get, I'll be back in 30 seconds. So that's a sad story, friends. I mean, it wasn't cannabis that was a threat. I hate to say it. The solution was in our front of our faces the whole time. We were just using it the wrong way. You can call it substance abuse if you want. If, you, if you're only burning cannabis and you're not turning it into an oil, it's kind of substance abuse because you're just using it the wrong way. But you're one step away from doing it the right way, you see? You're just missing a couple of the molecules that get, uh, that get combusted when you set it on fire. So the answer was is we should have lowered the price of cannabis and, and widely use it as a medicine and then going back to using it recreationally. But the answer is to use it as a medicine first. Take care of your health, then you can get high, you see? The priority is that cannabis doesn't hurt you, especially if you use it the right way. But, um, you know, if you're using it the wrong way all the time, it's not gonna really meet your nutritional needs. That was the whole point of this whole fucking medical scandal. You guys basically got yourself stuck in a loop over herbalism and a methodology and industry that you don't really earn or pay for. So I'm sorry that you guys got yourself strung, strung up so desperately. We really need to honor real systems, all right? Give me a second. No, I'm still not saying that. So high.
All right, friends, so you guys got to get ready to do real work. The point I'm making is, uh, you know, 29 minutes in, that's what a permanent psychosis is. People got felonies, they have bad drug overdoses, they can't even tell you the shit that they've been through just to have a modicum of normal life. That's the problem with psychiatric friends, uh, psychiatric medicine friends. Tell someone that you're struggling. Don't get stuck in a community where they're peddling nasty drugs around you and keeping you sick until they can kill you. Make sure you're ready to heal yourself and do better. That's the point, okay? Um, the reason why many of you got stuck yourself in felony chicanery in arrears is before age five, y'all were trying to kill me. I kept having to fight back against this abuse every year. I turned 18, I, y'all really need to get somewhere and be ready to tell the truth. You gotta have a damn fucking story. So you'll cancel your economy. Some of y'all really end up jumping in the spear. Um, you know, you did not validate your work. Um, and you use a lot of the money you made to pay for chicanery, advanced science and technology that you used to abuse yourselves and others. And now you're stuck in a loophole where there's really no need for you. Right? Your money can't buy respect. It can't even buy your salvation. It was never about advanced technology at, the, at our level of implicitly of biology. Right? It's about the power herb. You have to heal yourselves first. Then you will benefit from things like biotech or even commercial sectors or even, even the tech industry. But if you are not where you are right now, rooted in what I talk, we've talked about in the previous couple of videos, was regularity, which is your natural self feeling just fine, then no amount of expert, expert, expert and advanced technology is going to save you. That's what I'm saying. You guys are fucking done and stupid. You see? So don't let people coming around attacking you and trying to shoot you. These little dullard ass birds, they'll actually pay young women now to hold down guns to shoot men like us. They're all just fucking squalid and desperate to the last day. They're trying to use everything from... You know, the status of someone, even fake police officers without real fucking, um, you know, garments. Even real cops, actually, the ones that you guys claim the governor and the mayor, I guess, ordained. They're not even ordained. You're supposed to go to Congress to get a, uh, an activation to make sure that your badge is actually validated by the, by the Senate. Um, so that way you are actually a real fucking person doing real work. Now you guys are not even real New Yorkers coming into New York to do police work. So don't fucking try it, all right? Don't tell me the legal system here has to badger us and you guys are not accountable to it. Don't even fucking try it. You know they run DMT didn't pay. That's a suicidal cult. A bisexual, bipolar gangbangers. They ain't doing nothing. They're pseudo thugs. They shot themselves into disease. They attacked me and then ended up jumping in the spear. They didn't have a real fucking story, all right? So y'all didn't pay for that ban. So grow the fuck up. That's the first one. There's been over a dozen companies like that, right? Systemically doing the same shit in the loophole where you always need beats, you need instrumentals, you don't want to honor producers. So don't fucking try it. Grow the fuck up, all right? It ain't nothing nice. To the, to, to the point now where I'm actually sleeping on the streets. I mean, I, I, I had to promote vagrancy. I sleep where I can. Uh, but don't ever tell me that a building in New York is locked out or closed because you don't want me around. Y'all y'all in, 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 indefinitely stupid, all right? You didn't do enough work in this region, all right? So grow the fuck up. New York City is canceled, all right? You didn't honor a damn fucking thing. So you, you guys are admitting that you even plan slavery now. Oh, he has bobs, like he has this. If we can keep him stupid and fucked up, we can rule his ego. So that's it, man. You guys got stuck in permanent overdoses. The pills, the drugs fucks you up. You didn't have enough proper nutrients. What you guys need to do, I said this before, is detoxify and regenerate. Use those terms consistently, all right? Um, take all the nasty crag and nasty synthetic molecules that are bound to the receptors in your body that are making you addicted to drugs you cannot modulate or control and that are ruining your life and even your welfare and your, and your health. Get that shit out. Use probiotics and enzymes to remove those complex connections because you're going to be addicted to those drugs for a long time unless you figure out how to get your body chemistry right right so you got to detoxify listen carefully right next one is regenerate use the power herb to heal your body right use all manner of cannabinoids use the right enzymes use probiotics probiotics and enzymes are really supposed to get waste out but you know cannabinoids are supposed to help you regenerate there's many many different types of herbs we want to explore the best herbs God provide right we want to make sure that we're stipulated with advanced nutrition Right? Don't get stuck grappling about your weight and your fucking indolence and your mental health problems when you're not really doing nothing about it, right? You're, you're peddling fake a medical industry. It's fake pharmaceutical shit. So that shit gets canceled, right? Like I said in the past couple videos, they've been selling waste to us for years. Uh, they, they're using chemistry as technology now. They want to see how badly they can get away with extorting our egos and not really paying for shit. So a little fucking pistol ain't going to save y'all, all right? It's not going to save y'all. It's not. We'll summon ghosts from the under earth to eat you motherfuckers. Hypothetically. Or consider wisely. So that's it, friends. We're going to see what it is. I saw a woman in the park today talking, cackling. That's the thing with the Jews. I hate to say it. You guys feel your environmental rating, your human rights rating, and your and your um, your uh, business rating. is You're performing consistent corporate felonies. You see me in this little fake catering cult for over a decade. You never had a real fucking thing to say. All right? So go the fuck up. You know what you're doing. Right? You want to resolve real business, you become an adult, and you do real work. Right? That's the lesson there. You didn't have to fake and pay for all this chicanery. Just tell the truth to a man and to a brum. You guys go home and see your families. I do the same. Right? All this hysteria is about the fact that you can't resolve biology. Some of us just look different. We speak differently. We have different emotions. Right? But if you connect with us about real principles that we all share that are the underlying 
fundamental virtues of humanism and ourselves as humans and reality, you realize you don't need to lie and, and fake chicanery, right? You just got to get a real story. That's all it is. So, But you guys couldn't do that. So you, you're basically bankrupting every market you, you go near. And a lot of the immigrant communities like that. Don't call yourself immigrant, immigrants, friends. Be ready to be international diplomats. Don't get stuck in this poor little city grappling about how New York's the most valuable thing in the world. I mean, you guys barely have a dollar most days. You know, you guys got to really solve problems. So don't tell me heavy D's, bro. You stole a lot of the shit I made, all right? So, like I said, it comes down to in-home banking, international diplomacy, international currency trading, and a real name, friends. Just have a real town you're from and just keep telling the same story your whole life, right? And make sure you can validate it. Even if, even if people are threatened by you, you can have a nickname, that's fine, but make sure to honor the continuity of what you are. Listen to what I just said carefully. Honor the continuity of what you are. Very important lesson there, right? So that's what it was. The permanent uh, psychosis is people having awful trauma and insecurities that they can't resolve by telling the truth. That's what I'm saying. Formulate things so you can make sense of the things you've done and the decisions you've made and tell people in a healthy way. But if you can't even tell your loved ones the things you've done to them and to yourself, then obviously those are not your people. You can't confide in them to help you solve problems. So you're just suffering and you're just wallowing until it gets you killed because you're going to end up in a position where your own abuses, your own disease, your own uh, negligence and your own hateful attitudes end up torturing you and tormenting you into indolence and sickness. And you're never really going to be able to resolve healthy emotions. That's a problem. That's why I'm saying you you won't get to your best life without your truest love. And that's every part of you, every aspect of you, your story, your consciousness, your health, your relationships, all put into perspective in the realm of the righteous. Listen carefully, friends, all right? What I just said is very important. Make sure all the aspects of you are harmonious and put in perspective in the, in the realm of the righteous. That's why I didn't really struggle much. I kept really doing the work I had. I had to give up a couple patents. Sometimes I made games I'd have to sell. I have to leave characters behind, leave communities behind, leave games behind. Maybe make better art, stipulate new things, you know, commit to better work. I had to upgrade my skills every year. I had to keep being a better artist. I couldn't uh, settle on the old shit. I had to get better skills. But I had to promote my growth, whether you guys are paying for it or not. That's a sad story about it. I'm not really competing against your bank accounts. I got to get money to take care of myself and my family. Otherwise, you know, I'm really battling my ego and the core culture of what you think good art is. Because that's the thing that I pride myself on. You know, you guys don't really do enough. Coming up short and fake. That's the thing with the gaming industry. Ooh, what was this? Sometimes it's a little cheap. You know, the games are not really designed to be too good. And you guys, I mean, you don't even honor those games. You're not even really going to court or honoring the banking system around you to make sure guys like me get paid. So you're going to get stuck on broke and stupid. A couple games I got to make as grand masterpieces. But if you're not paying for nothing, then don't try it. You know, that's it. So that's it, friends. I talk about permanent psychosis. It's just, it's just humiliation and security mixed with a bad overdose and just structural damage to the brain uh, and pharmaceuticals and pills that don't really solve the solvency of your body's regularity and its energetics. You're not really regenerating your body. You're just stuck in cycles of sickness and indolence. So you got to resolve that, all right? Another thing I was going to say is uh, I talked about permanent psychosis and I was going to talk about biotech abuse. So last part, I'm going to make this short, all right? Biotech is basically sometimes a nanotech controller. You could have more than one. You can even use your own genetics, actually, in the end to stipulate... Um, you know, development and civility on the cloud in the sense that you can basically turn your genetics and information about yourself into systems of, of information and communication, really, where you can resolve things energetically around you. That's what I'm saying. You know, your phone is pretty small, but your body is capable of doing some of the things in your phone. It's just that you need to make sure you connect energetically to systems that can handle that information, right? Biotech is designed to do that. Uh, and it works for things like, you know, a drone or a truck or any type of information system around you where you could send information, right? That's, that's the point I'm making. Hold on a second. Don't let them get you fucked up, right? This, this technology's been around for decades. They just don't want to talk about it. They'd rather keep people with it sick and dumb. That's why they use the term mime. They're not really talking respect around us. They just want to keep us stupid and sick, all right? So cancel that fucking bullshit, all right? We know what the fuck we're doing. We know what lies y'all tell them. Roll the fuck up. I got to hold this solid for mine. I'm not that expensive to y'all dullards, all right? When you got to lie to promote racism and indolence in your tribe, we don't fuck with it. Right? The whole globe has to get better. That's the real goal I have. I want to see us end suffering and poverty and depravity all over the world. Actually, you can be depraved if you want. You can do some freaky shit with your girlfriend uh, in your bedroom. I mean, that's not depraved. It's just kind of, you know, a little bit uh, kinky. Uh, but when it's depraved is when you're hurting yourselves and your community to promote slander, abuse, disease, pollution, all types of fucked up shit when oh, it's completely unnecessary. Right? Uh, your egos are expensive. A million dollars is nice, but you end up back at the top looking for things to buy. Well, you know, being rich doesn't stipulate talent. Right? You got to put in hours. And craft your skills carefully to honor your talent and to make things that are beautiful and sought after, right? And the rich don't do that. Y'all you pay to shoot each other and kill each other, right? I think I got shot by, uh, you know, like a... I got shot by a person in this fucking park, sadly enough. Y'all really stupid and endless. So we're going to see y'all motherfuckers again. That was a very large, powerful political figure that came to New York City to do that. So, um, you know, y'all dollars are dumb. We're going to solve y'all motherfuckers for real. So like I said, it's from tell the truth. 
the large parts of the global market are stipulated now by technology you guys claim you wanted to buy or that you feel that you earned. We didn't pay for none of that shit. In fact, we were making investments in the late 90s, my family was. We had ways of making sure that we secured things that we thought would help the industries we were in. Experimental art, game design, film, uh, you know, metal arts, um, you know, performance, things like that. Really all types of hyper, hyper sports and experimental art. My family wasn't even really into literature and consciousness. I got into that myself. Then I got into a little bit of medicine because I started to get sick. I need to make sure the people around me were telling the truth. Hold on. So I learned not to trust some of you, right? So, so then I started learning more, and my research kind of helped me help others a little bit, but we just had to get out of this fake endless shit where you guys are promoting disease everywhere. That's the point I'm making, right? So don't get stuck in these loopholes where people lie. Uh, so last thing I'm going to say was uh, the biotech extortion, sometimes they'll even use radioactive devices uh, in court. They'll activate them when you're talking and when you're trying to give your perspective or your vantage point on what you're doing to. They'll project psionics at you from even an invisible, invisible control. You won't even see it. It's a small device. But they'll point it at your body. So when it's time for you to concentrate, you're actually dealing with radiation poisoning um, live, actually at you and around you. And they're actually using that to make you sick or even confuse your ability to formulate your thoughts and organize the nerve cells in your brain to identify the right... Uh, terms, symbols, uh, and even speech patterns you need to correctly express yourself and formulate your ideas. So they, they promote dissonance in the functioning of your nerve cells. It's really fucked up. And any part of your body will do this. Uh, they'll, they'll, they'll poison you wherever you ask. So you see, this type of espionage is popular over the world. They've actually done it to me several times. If you don't have a backup plan, a way of keeping yourself safe, you're going to die from the most benign weapons. It's pretty, not benign, the most basic weapons. It's pretty pathetic. And they use even more advanced shit. So how are you going to deal with that? See? So just come ready to tell the truth and do right about who you are, what you represent, and what you want to accomplish. Because that's kind of the sad story here. I just don't think enough people are really committed to what they want to be and what they want to do. And they end up in these sort of corny little vortexes or loopholes where they're lying all the time. Um, don't let insecurity rule your ego, friends. Find a way to speak your peace, speak your peace and your truths uh, into power and to resolution. You don't need to rule everyone. Just make sure that you have a fair narrative about the resolutions you want. Uh, don't go anywhere faking insecurity or looking stupid just to get money and to extort others. It's not going to do much for you because in the end, we all know that everybody got to get to their truest love. Everybody's looking for a narrative on life that satisfies them, whether you use money to do that or not, right? So when you're stuck in that little hurt box and the dollars you have don't buy you the consent and the respect you want, then you already know you're fucked up. So at that point, it's not about money. It's about your consent and your reciprocity to the truth. So like I said, reason, I'm sorry, reciprocity and resonance, right? Use your reciprocity to be fair to others. Your resonance to be your true self. Honor everything inside of you. Get all the disease, the indolence, the lies out of your resume. Notice it's so hard for people to talk about their mental health problems, or even their health conditions. They want to seem invisible, invincible, excuse me. What's this? And expensive. And never really have a reason to be anywhere honoring the things that are true. Oh, this is fucked up. All right? Let me see if I can get it right. Okay, that's, that's better. So that's it, friends. You know, honor what's real about you. The thing with uh, biotech is it's just a small nanotech controller. You can use colloidal silver to make your body conductive. Biotech now is even using the cells in your body to do it. You, you, you can train yourself with even the small amount of metal deposits that we get naturally from our food to develop conductive attributes. Um, but you're not going to get things like psychic powers and extra levels of intelligence without taking care of your nutrition first. So don't think that that's something you could pay for or buy your way into. you got to take care of your body. Your biology is the conduit for this dimension. I talked about that. So be ready to honor your true self. Stay physically fit. Be healthy. Practice good habits. I'm amazing. I've been on the streets for five months. I've actually done really well. You know, I panhandle outside the train if I have to. And the dollars and the money comes in. Not a lot, but enough for me to get the basics that I need. So don't let them sell you fake shit. Most of the businesses in this region are stolen. They'll put a logo on something and claim they'll pay you. They never pay for nothing. They're just building systems of insolvency. And they'll come back around and bankrupt you or shoot you later if they feel like you're not representing their narrative. Right? So that's the thing about it. Make sure you get paid directly. Make sure they got receipts. Make sure they got contracts, stipulations that they went to. Make sure they went to court and told the truth. Make sure everything is just right. If it's not harmonious, if, it, if, it's, if it's not harmonious and if it's not balanced, then everything is fucking canceled. Right? My whole family fucking lied to me. They were looking at Disney money, Star Wars money. They went to court. They filed bankruptcy. They sued each other. They did a lot of fucked up shit. My father was profound as a director. I had to show up and do the same thing. You know, I had to hold it down as well. You know, I work with some legends actually. You know, with my biotech. That's the thing about this community is people want to become rich. They want a lot of power and prowess, but they sometimes energetically fall out. I've seen celebrities, you know, leap across the internet to shoot me. These people have millions of dollars. They don't even know what the fuck they're doing. It's just such a sad story. You know, they just don't have a real reason to love. And the, what it is really, it's just mental health problems mixed with legal problems, mixed with social and societal abuse. That's what I'm saying. I'm trying to tell people all over the world, don't look for the big, big abusive solutions. Don't look for some huge economic reform or weapons or some type of large economic catastrophe or even a large bankruptcy or you know a huge bank account for that matter. Start with the small things. Start with the mustard seed. Are the people in your community healthy? Now, kids don't really notice they're behind on their nutrition until they're adults. Around your mid-20s, you should know whether you've been eating right or not. Try to check what you eat every day. What did I eat every day? Ask yourself. 
keep track of the dates going by. Notice how there's a lot of date rape, there's a lot of abductions, there's a lot of abuse. Y'all gonna end up real fucked up with that shit, I'm telling you, because there's a system to counter everything. Just don't make, don't think that your naivety is gonna save you. Everybody gotta do well. And if you truly love, you want others to do the same, you see? This is what I just said. If you truly love, you want others to find the same. Not so costly, this attitude. I don't need to hurt you to have my best life. Unless you're really trying to hurt me, that's different, right? Or you're out of control completely and you're a threat to others and you don't even want to resolve it. Then that's a problem. That, that's when you end up in the cycle of demolition. Somehow things have to be taken apart for you or you have to be isolated and put in a safe place. But otherwise, we, in, we conceive, we regenerate, and we enjoy life until we can't do it anymore. That's all it is. That's what I'm saying. Your genetics are rental. We can't trust this species with cybernetic superpowers or AI. Most of you are not emotionally disciplined. You will hurt each other just to have nothing more than tra tra shit to talk or trash talk, you see? So that's not a real relationship to reality. That's it, friend. 45 minutes, I'm done. Like I said, uh, Biotech is a haptic controller. You can use colloidal silver. You can get it. Uh, it's, it's, you can go to biotechne.com, website in Minnesota. I talked about that several times already. I'll post a link again. I've done it many times already to get a biotech controller. But it's just that, you know, the older politicians, they, their whole bet was if we could just not let the public know about biotech, then we'll make the economy look like it's productive. Fine, do that if you want. But as a family business, we had to find a way to keep me and my peers employed. So we got to keep our work going whether you like us or not. See? So y'all didn't do enough for us. Y'all didn't do enough for us, all right? Um, but the thing is, the young adults this age, I need you guys to get out of that little hurt box. Stop trusting your parents too much. Some of them are keeping you sick. You got to practice your physical fitness. Get the best nutrition. Use the internet to learn what are the best outcomes for you. Don't let them peddle indolence around you all day. Many of your mothers and fathers are bipolar, and they have bad overdoses, and they don't really know how to talk to you in a way that makes sense. My mother was like this. My father sometimes too. He didn't always know what to say. Uh, he, they did their best. They wanted to love. They wanted to have a better version of life. But sometimes their seasonal mood disorder come around. They're very, very angry spats. They, they have a little bit of drug abuse problems. They would lie too much. They'd overcompensate for problems in industry. Um, you know, they'd end up in loopholes where they weren't structurally able to validate things. That's the point I'm making. All right. So, all of you get to get to your best life and your best love. Right. Um, biotech is just a haptic controller. It's a small um, nanotech controller. You you can hear about nanotech RFID. Uh, what's another one they call it? RFID, nanotech, uh, biotech they call it too. There's many others, but it's just technology that works with your body, right? We, we won a lawsuit uh, as a collective, as a age group in the, in the 2000s about personal computing. That's all it is, friends. Using personal computing, things you personally use as a computer, a CPU, a processing device to help you solve problems. That's it. In earlier times, it was, you know, your body doing those things. Where we had to evolve to be what we are now. Well, we're evolving again. We're using other tools to help us work. The catch is there's nothing painful or invasive about this shit. It's just designed to work correctly, you see?